Hello everyone, so today we will learn about aquatic species which is Phalamonida. So we'll start with the introduction which is Phalamonida is a family of shrimp in the order of Decapoda. Many species are carnivores that eat small intervertebrates and can be found in any aquatic habitat except the deep sea. So this is an example of um, Phalamonida which is the first one is Macrobrachium rosenbergi so this is also known as giant river prawn or giant freshwater prawn which commercially important species of Phalamonide freshwater prawn so the second one is Macrobrachium olfasi so this is a predominantly freshwater shrimp species that needs salt water to complete its life cycle mainly for reproduction and larva metamorphosis and the third one is tinus, which also called as crayfish. Uh, crayfish are commonly found in rocky areas with sandy bottoms. In Malaysia, there are many in the Mersing Marine Park cluster area. So let's move on to the specification of these three species. So ecosystem and habitat for the first species, it's live at freshwater lakes and rivers. Uh, for the second species, it's spawning and living as a larva early juvenile in these trees, then escaping stream and river to live with most of its adult life in freshwater. For the third species, which, which is tinus, are commonly found in rocks area and sandy bottom. Distribution of the selected species population for the first species is throughout the tropic in the Indo-Pacific region. For the second species, it is native to Brazil and other South American coasts. And for the last species, which is tinus, we can find it at Indo-West Pacific. So conservation of status status for all of these species is this concern and also sexual dimorphism characteristic for all of these species are same which is no macroscopic sexual dimorphism and reproductive strategy for the first, second and third species are also the same which is spawning and ecological niche for the first species is result in significant increase in fish production for the second species it act as predator to zooplankton and for the third species it also it is marine niche and it ethobiological for the first species is food, food for human consumption consumption and for the second species it is physical and chemical niche and for the last et ethnobiological for the for the third species is food for human consumption. Provide example of this assigned family classification that was observed to be a keystone species. So Phalemonida, identified as aquatic life, can be considered as a keystone species since some of the species act as predator. For example, Macrobrachium olfasi become a predator to zooplankton. So zooplankton become a food source for themselves. Point out if selected species are treated with extension and overexploitation, explain and justify. So all of the selected species that is Macrobrachium rosenbergi, Macrobrachium olfasi and tinus are neither treated with extension for overexploitation because it still can be found easily and many at their habitat. So the main contribution or role of species Macrobachium rosenbergi, Macrobachium olfasi and tinus. So these three species has an important contribution in the ecosystem of aquatic life. Especially most of it become a food source for humans since it contains a lot of protein that can be consumed for human. Besides, it also fitter substance such as plankton, bacteria and fungal. Other than that, it also provides a major protein source to animal higher in the food chain. Perspective or documentation of this species. So this species is inhabitant of water and is a source of protein for many human beings. This species also originate from Indo-Pacific region, South American coast and Indo-West Pacific. So for the conclusion, member of Phalamonida have been studied which is Macrobrachium rosenbergi. Macrobrachium olfansi and tinus. These species have been documented to contribute ecological and hence should be monitored for ecological stability. Thank you.